I don't know if it's just me, but people who thrive on looking good, training well, looking after their skin, they always leave the toilet in a shit state. And I literally just can't understand. You first of all got the people, the IDGA, I don't give a fuck. Going to one cubicle, and this is pretty much everywhere. Every public toilet, every gym toilet, there's pee. All over the floor, all over the seats. It's like Moses came in, parted the water, and then that's the overflow, everywhere. I remember one time I was ready to train. I was like, okay, good, I feel good, I feel good. But I was, I was training legs. I can't train legs without emptying my stomach. I forgot to use it at home. I'm gonna use a gym toilet for once. Walk into the cubicle, there's this fat, massive, charcoal looking piece of doo doo that it looked like a medieval rock. Just sitting there, like he just thought, you know what, I don't really feel like flushing the toilet. I'll leave all the toilet paper in there as well, but I'm gonna leave this big, stinking pile of poo in the toilet for someone else to see, someone else to flush. And that someone was me because I needed to use the toilet before I trained legs. This is all part of gym etiquette. You can't leave your dookie in the toilet for someone else to flush. Or is it just me? Go on, leave your comments in the comment section. Is it just me? Okay, considering that you have to be a minimum age of 16 to join the gym, I do wonder how children get in. Because you know when you go to your school toilet, there'll be graffiti on the wall, there'll be stupid messages in the toilet cubicles, there'll be mashed up pieces of toilet paper with water splattered on the mirror. Why am I seeing that at my gym? Why? Why? Who is it? Is it you? Hmm? 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 It's like when people join the gym, they regress about 10 years and go back to the age of 12 and we're back in secondary school. And then you've got the shit ninjas. And now I'm not talking about a ninja that is terrible at his job. I'm talking about you walk into a cubicle and there'll be pieces of shit on the wall, on the seat, on the top of the toilet seat. How did it get there? What did you do? What did you literally do? I'm actually confused. If anyone knows, let me know because I am literally confused. I mean, were they like this? But I literally don't know and it is very disturbing. I'm sure it's disturbing for many of you. But I'm gonna finish this video with another personal experience of mine. Probably the most disturbing of them all. I see this guy all the time. I see this guy every day at the gym. I walk into the toilet, it's leg day again and I forgot to use the toilet at home. So I've gone to the gym toilet. I see this guy, as I'm entering the toilet, he's coming out of a cubicle. This guy's very well groomed. He has very nice hair. He has very nice skin. He always wears good clothes to the gym. I step into the cubicle that he's in and I kid you not shit 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 everywhere and dude didn't even wash his hand and you want to come and shake my hand and you want to go and use other gym equipment that everyone else has to use with those cooties on your fingers stop bro you know who you are i'm not going to name and shame on the internet but i'm letting y'all know disgusting bloody disgusting but that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you can relate. If these things bug you, leave your comments in the comment section of things that do bug you in the gym because I would love some more ideas for these videos because I'm sure we're on the same page because we're like that, you get me? But don't forget to share this video with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys, y'all sexy faces, later. Remember true, always be true, no matter what you do. I run it, I never front it, I got my